Hey Virgos, let's see who and what is headed your way this week. We are doing May 21st through the 27th. Let's find out what's going on for my Virgos. Virgos. See what Spirit's going to bring out on your week. Pop, we've got time is up. No second chances. No revisiting. There's something better waiting. There's something better waiting. Ow. Okay. Yes. No revisiting. Wow. Let's see the predominant energy, the person. Let's pinpoint their energy for you. This is for my Virgos. Get their energy. Super guys. Mm, not that one. Hang on, guys. Oh, bam. That was a quick switch. We've got the two on their energy. Bottom of it was the tower. Sudden. Unexpected. Queen of Cups energy. Cancer energy. Hmm. Whoever it is, we are not expected. We we weren't expecting it. Yeah, and the um, <clears throat> they're coming in probably with this. I've changed. I've changed energy on them. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, their feelings coming at you. Their feelings and thoughts. The six of wands. They want definitely wanting to win you over. Mm -hmm. Spotlight energy, but the, uh, think of uh, Leo energy, spotlight energy of I want recognition. I want you to see I, I've, I've changed. I've changed. Something has changed. So, yeah. Mm, how are they seeing you, Virgos? Page of Wands are seeing you as you're not certain about the future and um, your desires. Uh, going forward, mm -hmm. they got you in in that page of wands. Page of wands represents a curiosity, <laughs> but it's also a standstill energy of I'm not sure. I'm just uncertain about things right now. I'm not sure what I really want. And but think desires, ambitions, goals. So they they've got you at a standstill, uh, but curious, curious. So hmm. See the actions uh, bring, they're bringing in towards you. Got a five of swords. Whoa. Here. Five of swords. A mm. little bit of conflict. Hold on. Ten of swords. Wow, this person is coming in. This is telling us their way of thinking, their way of communicating. What The type of thing they're going to communicate to us is very, let's put it this way, in their head. A lot of times with the Five of Swords, it's, it's like, be weary <laughs> of the words you're using and what you're saying to other people because you could, you know, are you just in it to win? To come out on top, uh, you know, and crush somebody else's feelings. They're coming at us with some energy of between that 5 and 10 energy. Sorting and fixing things. Uh, so, they may blast us with some stuff. I don't know how else to put it. Just a, a blast of um, their thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let's see some more energy here. I don't know if it's something, you know, they would be... Come, coming at us full force, unleashing the explosion of what they've been sitting on, not sharing if it's about us, things that they don't like about us, or we done to them, or that kind of thing, or if it's, you know, them telling us about someone or something else, but it's coming out as uh, they're not really paying attention to their words. They may say things that might um, trigger us. But they are definitely unleashing uh, and venting out uh, where they might have felt stabbed in the back, betrayed, that kind of thing. And they got nine of swords, needless stress, anxiety. Dang, they are talking from a triggered level, a cognitive habit triggered level. 
Uh-huh. Mmm. Phew, guys. Okay. So, yeah. The Nine of Swords is your, your habit. The habit. The way you... Know, think of triggered. I'm triggered. My mouth is running from my trigger instead of my true logic in my heart. No heart level here. They're, they, they are all of a sudden going to explode. <laughs> On emotions, and they're going to let it fly. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, we've got Star Card. Star card, I hope for the future, but I'm feeling the shadow end of it, of there's no hope. There's no, I have no faith in nothing right now. Mm. Why are they coming at us with all of this? Because they're wanting you to see them in a different light. But they're showing me how they're coming at us is not in a different light. The dust time is up. Uh, it's not a different light. They're thinking they've made a change when they are reacting in a way they normally do and the, the way they've been programmed in the past to react which is you know from a triggered level fear a lot of fear based in the head uh, but there's emotions that queen of cups um motivating it the explosion of the emotions uh your feelings towards them queen of swords you're not getting into it with them mm -mm. You can see it's, uh, they're coming with a lot of unleashing feminine energy. <laughs> you're, you're in the hardcore feminine energy of, I, mm, I hear what you're saying, but, you know, till your words, your actions match your words, there's, there's, you know, there's no, no me getting involved with it. What else are you feeling? Because Queen of Swords can be very cold and cutting. She cuts things off, but she does it for a reason. Uh, she doesn't allow emotions to influence her. Four cups, we're just not interested. Mm -mm. We're not taking the cup. We're not falling for it. Mm -mm. So, bottom of the deck, we've got a five of cups energy. There's regrets. There's loss. It's letting go. So, uh, whoever this is, we've already, I got a feeling we already broke with them. Uh, disc, you know, cut some cords with them and put some boundaries and stuff, but they are coming back with an explosion, uh, and it's showing us, uh, in response, where they're reactive, we're responding and sticking to it, um, but it is showing the end, guys, I'm feeling the end of a letting go process of, okay, I'm not doing it no more, we're coming to the end of it, it's like cleaning up Finishing cutting off the energy. Yeah, I'll talk. Uh, uh, no action. We got a Virgo Knight of Pentacles in, in, in this deck. I can't remember the name of the deck, guys. But he's all talk. No action. Because he's not moving forward at all. He's back at the, the page energy. But the page doesn't do a lot of talking. Because <laughs> uh, he's standing on a stone. He's not going anywhere. But he, he wants to be seen as if he's going somewhere like he's doing something like he's changed something it's standstill energy of i'll talk no action underneath uh, move away from the storm yeah trying to convince us they've moved they've changed they've you know when they really hadn't and this is a process of finishing cleaning up tying or cutting loose ends and tying up any loose ends uh because We've already been, to, uh, I mean, your higher self already threw it out. The spirit already threw it out. Um, no revisiting. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What will come out on that time is a pop. Interferes. As you face your interferes, you recognize what is holding you back from attracting a healthy and loving relationship with others and yourself. Yep, time's up, and it's just, like I said, it's the final, um, and we're, we're coming in strong, guys, so I like this, because we're not getting involved on an emotional level, we're, we're finishing up cut, cutting loose ends, and tying up loose ends for ourselves, uh, with whoever it is coming towards us, let's see what else, um, spirit wants to bring out on this, it's for my Virgos, my Virgos, you want to chime in, spirit? I think we got one here. Possibly to Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment. Boy, guys. Mm, <laughs> 
on this one, I, it come really quick. To, uh, the person what's triggering them is they're seeing you doing really well. Really well without them being in your bubble. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And it's triggering them because you are in step, stepping into enjoying uh, letting go of fears. You're the one doing all the changing for yourself where this person is not getting it. They're running a loop here, a cognitive loop, and fooling themselves into believing they've made changes where they really haven't made changes. They can't see. We also got healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Uh, so it is bringing in healing ish, healing process. Um, children on the bottom of the deck. So there may be children involved for the, uh, those of us. There's deception up under the children, a mask. Okay. For those of us that it's like, no, we don't have children. None of us have children. We've got codependency. The bottom of the deck is just going to keep talking here. Um, it could be the person coming in is, for us, we per, we're perceiving them in a childlike um, mentality. I don't know how else to put that. So, yeah. But codependency, deception, childish or children healing issues and some somebody is definitely being triggered by the fact that um <clears throat> we seem to be doing really well and moving forward for ourselves let me grab some water guys y'all know i'm getting croaky here let's get a message <clears throat> from your person that is coming forward a little bit ahead of time let's see what that they want to Come down on. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. We going into the shadows, guys. Yeah. All things into it this day. Let's see what's going to come out on this one. It's my bird guys person. Brief, brief message. Brief, brief, brief pop. In that moment, I didn't care. I don't know how to let you go. I wish you would come back. I understand you better now. I don't need your approval. Your body language it says so much is on the bottom of the deck. We'll go ahead and take it. Guys, I hope it was helpful. Um, wishing you and sending you blessings for a beautiful week. Uh, like I said, I feel like we're responding where they're reactive, which is a good thing. Keep control. Keep your poise and your grace. Virgos, sending y'all love and light. Bless be.